Hi y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nate. I'm back with another video. So first thing is, nothing is in vain with God. Regardless of whatever your situation might look like, remember that God sees all that you're doing. He sees your efforts and in due time, he will reward you. And in the book of Galatians 6 verse 9, um, it was read in the church today, it says that you should not be worried because in due time you will be rewarded. So it kind of also fits with this first point. The next point is pick your battles. There are certain battles that you just need to leave to God. There are certain battles that you just cannot really be involving yourself into. You just keep it cool, you keep it classy, and you just leave the rest to God. I know there are some moments where you're like, dude, I want to say something right now. I just, mm. They're testing me or I don't know you feel it's a type of way and you're really just trying to like say that sometimes it's really not needed because it will end up making this situation even worse than it actually is and yeah I would just advise you to really think very wisely when it comes to the different battles that you face and which one just deserves your immediate attention and which one is even worth the effort in the first place if you see that there's a certain battle that's gonna be too draining or is honestly just going to do you way more harm than good, I would suggest that you do not invest your energy in that. And honestly, if you're going to be bothered with every single battle, like especially the minuscule ones, I don't know. It, it just takes a lot of energy. And I'm not going to lie. You need to save as much energy as you can. And I feel like, honestly, at the end of the day, sometimes there's just some certain battles that they're just better left to God. I know I'm, I'm saying kind of a lot but not a lot at the same time but i hope you grasp what i'm trying to say i'm just trying to say that it's very important to know what battle to really involve yourself in and what battle to leave to god and keep in mind that that one battle that you did for example decided to involve yourself into still needs to be dealt you know uh with through the word of god and with god's guidance the next point is god is in control regardless of you know things not going the way that you want it to go it's very important to keep in mind that he knows what he's doing he's in control of the earth he's in control of your destiny he's in control in every single part that has to do with you so having you know that in mind keeps me at peace keeps me at bay to know that regardless of whatever i'm facing i know he's in control and a verse i always mention in almost every weekly reflection video is that everything will work out for my good and for your good too. Um, the next point is be discerning and continuously increase your discernment, but don't confuse that with paranoia because discernment is, it's something that you get through the Holy Spirit. It's, it's you know, for example, when you notice a certain thing because the Holy Spirit gives you an inkling of that, whereas paranoia is you just being afraid of every single thing. You um, just suspecting every single little thing, whereas the discernment really, um, closes in your focus a little bit more to really know what specific things to look out for or what specific category to look out for if you get what i mean um it's for example like looking at the verse of um i've forgotten the verse but it basically says um that humans are desperately wicked it does not mean that you need to be suspicious of every single person on earth for example we know that there are killers out there it does not mean that you need to be suspicious of every single person that you meet but definitely just be wary um of maybe suspicious things that might occur if you see them happening but for example in the spiritual aspect it's more like honestly um allowing the spirit to really guide you to know what to be wary of if you see for example um i don't know that like you're um in an area where people are just doing stuff that is just against the word of god obviously you're gonna get that inkling that discerning of like yeah i need to get out of here because this is gonna do me way more harm than good i hope that example helps you the next point is don't stop until you get it that was the topic of today's uh sermon and it really spoke to me um it was based on the story of the widow in luke 18 verse 1 to 8 if i'm not mistaken and um it just really explained how um she just kept relentlessly like just fighting for what she wanted to get and at the end of the day she ended up getting it not because you know like um, she was a special case or anything because i'm sure there were other people that also had other cases and stuff like that but i do think that it was because of her consistency and just her relentlessly like going um 
and just defending her case honestly and that's what we ought to do too like everybody has a case everybody has some something that's bothering them something that they need god to help them with but if you're going to pray about it just for one day and just drop it the next day you cannot just expect god to just step in you know even if it takes weeks, months, um, years, decades, know that the Lord is still listening. He hears you, but at the end of the day, everything works out for his good. He has his will, and you have to know that time works very differently here compared to heaven, but that's a discussion for a whole other day. The most important thing is that you should not give up, and um, what the pastor mentioned today is that obviously, as we're human, we can deal with discouragement and stuff like that. No, I think he said something like that we can have discouragement. Like it's it's normal for any human being to get discouraged from time to time, be disappointed. Um, and, and yeah, that's just a part of humanity. But it's important to remember that God hears you. God sees you. God knows what you're going through. And in due time, you will see the fruits of your labor. In due time, you will see an answer to your prayer. Sometimes it might not be what you might have anticipated, but it will still work out. It will still work out. You might get it now or you might not, but in due time, you will. Please, that sounded so mysterious, but okay, we move. The next point as the last one is learn to DIY or basically do it yourself. Obviously with the guidance of the Lord. Uh, I'm not saying that you should just be doing it by your own strength. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. Um, um, that's not really more of a... Uh, <sighs> spiritual thing is more just like a thing in general it's a good thing to to ask for help it's a good thing to you know like go to places to get stuff done like for example like your nails um your hair um your you know or like go some place to eat or whatever that's great i'm not saying you should completely stop doing that i'm just saying that you should invest in just trying to do this um these things more by yourself because it helps you to also see a new version of yourself it helps you to um just learn new things honestly it gives you a new perspective because i don't know it's, it's quite interesting for example Every once in a while, I would go and do my uh, nails, but I'm not going to lie. Nowadays, maintenance, it's, it's very expensive. And you save a whole lot of money when you just get all the needed gadgets and equipment um, and just do it at home, honestly. And once I got all the necessary equipment and I started doing it myself, I was like, oh my days. First of all, it's just time that I'm saving to go ride to the nail salon and stuff like that. And second of all, it's me also just learning a new skill, you know? Like, call me DIY girly, because at this point, and, um... It just helps a lot because, for example, I know how to cook, obviously, but I just love eating out, like, poke bowls and stuff like that. You guys have seen it in my vlogs. Um, but I've tried to really, you know, do more recipes at home because it just helps. For example, during the time of COVID, let's say you were a person that couldn't cook. I'm sure that it was not really quite handy during that period. Um, but it's not only for, like, such time-stopping um, events, really. Uh, or seemingly time stopping events it's also just in general it's a good skill to just hone and have you know just in general like for your own self because for example it could be that there's a day that you're really tired and you want to stay home and you just don't want to go out to eat it will be quite handy if you can obviously make some food for yourself or you want to get pretty you know feel pretty it's also handy if you know how to do your makeup yourself if you know how to do your nails and you know how to do your hair for example um those are very um, handy stuff honestly it comes in quite easy and it help, helps you to also like pass the time because sometimes i'm just kind of bored of like maybe just watching my series the whole time or just doing some other stuff that i always do so it's really interesting to get into the new thing that i normally like always go to people for and you know doing them myself so i hope you guys are able to get some one or two uh things um from these points that i mentioned i hope you had a wonderful week and know that if you're tired that's totally fine recharge um you know and um rejuvenate yourself a little bit take a step back reset and get back to it so i hope you guys have a wonderful upcoming week stay blessed stay healthy Continue taking care of yourself and keep God first in all you do. God bless you. Bye.